In other news, Minister of Financial Services, Trade and Industry, the Honorable Brent Simonet, says the country's financial services sector is doing well overall, but says the recent blacklisting from the European Union served as a distraction. This is officials travel to Paris and San Marino to undergo international regulatory applications, such as the common reporting standards and the competent authority agreements. There, Mr. Simonet confirmed that the Bahamas complied with some of the OECD's goalposts, but that's not all. We've been drafting legislation to keep up with that. Matter of fact, I think next week in Parliament we'll probably be introducing one of the new bills. We're also looking at rebranding the Bahamas so it can, it can um, comply and keep up with modern changes. And then, as you know, we passed the, um, the um, recent act in Parliament, the Commercial Enterprises Bill, which is actually when Prime Minister and, and his uh, delegation were in London and also Peru, they talked about that issue. And we've had, I think, about 15 approvals under that act since it came into effect on December the 12th. So that's also bringing in more work permits, more residency permits, and some extra headquartering and, and a call center and different types of business. The financial services minister said the work is ongoing to ensure that the Bahamas is a top financial services jurisdiction. The plan is to market the country in traditional markets like South America and to attract new investment. We hope this year to do a number of promotional trips, which hopefully the prime minister will, will be in attendance with so we can go, and go back into some markets and heighten, heighten the awareness. I'm slated in the next several months to be in, in between uh, Mexico, Vancouver, uh, Miami as, as a way of looking at the South American hub and a couple of other trips so that we look at promoting financial okay. services.